Hello, everyone. Surely you already know about the blood-sucking abilities and survival of leeches in harsh environments, right? But did you know that in China, farmers have built large farms to raise leeches? Today, let's go to China to explore how they farm leeches and what they use them for. To successfully farm leeches, the farmers here have designed breeding ponds with ideal conditions, including efficient drainage and irrigation systems, adequate light, and protection from strong winds or harsh sunlight. These ponds must be carefully constructed to provide the best living conditions for the leeches. Typically, each hectare of water surface can accommodate between 60,000 and 100,000 small leeches. The area and number of leeches in each pond are adjusted based on the desired reproductive output. Additionally, inside the leech ponds, farmers also introduce water hyacinth. The water hyacinth not only helps cool the water, but also creates an ideal environment for leeches to shelter and grow. The floating leaves of the water hyacinth provide shade and a hiding place helping to maintain the ecological balance within the ponds. Leeches being hermaphroditic can begin reproducing from 6 to 12 months of age. However, they require a partner for cross-fertilization to occur. Once fertilized, the eggs are enclosed in a cocoon which the leech then deposits beneath the soil. These cocoons typically house between three to eight eggs. Over a single reproductive cycle, an individual leech is capable of producing anywhere from 30 to 130 offspring. The optimal temperature range for the development of juvenile leas is 20 to 30 degrees Celsius. This temperature range is crucial as it significantly boosts their chances of survival and supports robust growth. After harvesting, the leech cocoons are carefully examined by farmers to discard those that do not meet standards. The qualified cocoons are then meticulously placed between layers of moist soil arranged in styrofoam containers to create an optimal environment for the cocoon's development. These are subsequently flooded with water until the juvenile leeches emerge, ready to be released into the breeding ponds where they will continue their growth and maturation. The primary diet for leeches in farm environments consists of snails and clams, which are not only readily available, but also nutrient-rich and align with the leech's natural feeding instincts. Sometimes, leeches are also fed animal blood to ensure a diverse and nutritious diet, aiding their healthy development and adaptation to the farming environment. Feeding leeches must be done regularly and must strictly adhere to the correct amounts to prevent food waste and to ensure that the water quality in the breeding ponds is not adversely affected. Typically, to support a population of about a thousand leeches, farmers need to supply approximately 20 kilograms of snails and clams each week. Furthermore, managing the water in the ponds is also critical. It is necessary to periodically drain and refresh the water to ensure an optimal living environment that promotes healthy leech growth.
At farms in China, the process of raising leeches typically lasts from 6 to 12 months. After this period, when the leeches have matured and reached a size of about 10 to 12 centimeters, farmers begin harvesting. This is the stage where the leeches are fully developed and ready to be collected for processing and sale to traders in the area. I really admire the courage of the Chinese people. I'm sure I wouldn't have the guts to do this, would you? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. After harvesting, the farmers take the leeches to dry by stringing them on lines and hanging them in well-ventilated areas. Did you know that currently in China, the price for one kilogram of dried leeches has reached $150? This substantial price reflects their market value. Although their appearance might be frightening, Dried leeches are actually a nutritious food source and have become an essential component in many traditional Chinese medicinal recipes, which have existed for thousands of years. Thanks to their nutritional and medicinal value, leech farming not only provides significant income for farmers, but also contributes to improving and enhancing the lives of the local people. In China, traditional Chinese medicine practitioners often cut dried leeches into very small pieces and roast them with sand or talc powder, scientifically known as talcum, until they puff up and turn yellow. They then remove them, thoroughly sift out the sand, dry them in a cool place, and store them in clean jars for preservation. In modern medicine, leeches produce a substance called hirudin, which helps prevent blood clotting. Additionally, they have effects that help reduce inflammation, sterilize wounds, dilate blood vessels, and prevent blood clots. Clinical doctors have used these compounds to alleviate knee pain caused by osteoarthritis. Let us know your thoughts about this creature after watching the video. Thank you for spending time with us. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss more interesting videos from us.